Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that's got everything for us photographers. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your portraits from OK to amazing. And I'm going to do it without using any special lights or fancy lenses. In fact, really, all I'm going to do is to show you how to work as a team. Now, if you're here for the first time, click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to get regular notifications of all the brand new videos right here in Adorama TV, because we have loads of great content every day. So let's start off with a question. As the photographer, are you the most important part of the process? Well, actually, no. The most important part of photography is, of course, light. Without any light, we have no photos. Then there is the model. The model is going to direct the, the look and feel of the shoot. Then there are things like the styling, the makeup, the hair, the post-processing. All of these things will combine together to create the final look and feel. And in this video, I'm going to show you each process step by step, building up to a final shot. So with that in mind, let's get some light set. Let's get a model in. Let's get shooting. So to help me out today, I've got the amazing Sophie. Sophie is going to be the model for this shoot. And let's be honest, immediately this shoot is better than anything I could do if I was sat there. But of course, I do have some input into this because I'm in control of the lights, the most important part. So let's break down the lighting. First of all, I'm going to start with my key light, which is just a fairly standard, smallish softbox, up high with a grid to give the light some direction. Now, I've already metered this out. Let's take a test shot and see how it goes. Sophie, are you ready? OK, here we go. So the lighting on Sophie looks fantastic. It's nice and soft, but it has direction. But Sophie is disappearing a little bit on the left hand side as we look at this shot. So to separate Sophie out from the background, I'm going to add in a second light, a separation light. I'm using this nice big strip box. It's got a grid once again to direct the light forward. Let's see how this affects the picture. OK, Sophie, here we go. So now we're getting better. We've got some separation of Sophie from the background, but the background is really, really dark. So to make the background a little less dark, I'm actually going to add in a third light. And it's one and only job is just to light the background. So we're going to pop it in behind, point it like that. And that's just going to put a nice little circle of light back here and add a little bit of background detail. Let's try this. So this is my lighting setup. I'm going to keep it the same throughout the rest of this video. But for now, let's just take a few pictures like this and see how they go. So Sophie, you ready? Here we go. So now Sophie is looking just a little bit different because we've applied some styling to this shoot. So let's start with the obvious bits at the top where Sophie is now wearing a headdress made of twigs. And it really is just twigs. Sam created that. She got some twigs. She sprayed them black and silver and they look fantastic. Now to complement that, Sophie has this silver metallic fabric wrapped around her and it is actually metal. Now that came from Mark Wallace when he did a shoot here in my studio many years ago. I've held on to it ever since and it's the sort of thing you'd put in window frames to keep flies out apparently. So those are the big differences. What have I done? Well, not a lot really because the lights are still in the same position and they are still set to the same power. But I think what we need to do is see how the styling affects the results. So Sophie, if you're ready, yep. let's take a few pictures. Here we go.
So here we are, this is the final look and it is fantastic. Sophie has the styling, but now she also has the hair and makeup done as well. Now, Sophie is a qualified makeup artist and she's done all of that herself and it's done to a really high standard. What have I done? Well, not a lot really. The lights are still in the same position. They haven't changed at all, but this is gonna really change the look and feel of these pictures. So Sophie, if you're ready, let's take some pictures like this. So you might think that's it, the shoot is done, my job as a photographer is complete, but there is one more area to which I can have quite a big impact on the final results, and that is in post-processing. So let's have a look and see what I did. So I've got one of the images here, and these needed just a bit more work than some of my standard small home studio shots. Mostly there is things like softboxes which need to be removed on the wider shots. So I do that with cloning and copying parts of the picture from one side to the other. Then there's the colour. So Sophie is an excellent makeup artist, hairstylist and of course model. But I still wanted to fine tune things a little bit to really mute down Sophie's skin tones, but retain the detail and brightness of her eyes. And I did that using a couple of layers. Finally, I wanted to give all of my images a similar look and feel. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to use a preset. In this case, I'm using the Mystify preset with a bit of modification inside of Luminar. And there you go. There is my final picture completed. If you're a portrait photographer watching this, you might come to the conclusion that what I'm saying is your job is to set up the lights, press the shutter, and maybe a bit of Photoshop at the end. That's not really the idea at all. Your job is as a project manager. So once I knew that Sophie was gonna be the model for this shoot, I gave Sam, my wife, some direction on the styling that I wanted to use. I then gave Sophie, who's the hair and makeup artist and the model, some direction on the look that I wanted her to have as well. Now, both of them put their own input into the final results, but photography is not a solo endeavor. Photography is definitely a team sport. Now, if you've enjoyed this video or you've got any questions, leave me a comment below. Click on the bell icon for regular notifications of all the brand new videos right here in Adorama TV. And of course, click on that subscribe button. I'm Gavin Hoey, thanks for watching.